Hey everybody, um, I'm gonna show you how to make the um, emoji stones, I guess. I'm not sure what you call these. These are little glass, flat bottom glass beads. And these are the emojis that I made using them. Um, the one challenge you have is the fact that this is very smooth and it doesn't, the paint doesn't adhere to it very well. And that's why I made this one with a rock. So if you've got extra paint or uh, leftover, you can grab a rock and do the same thing on the rock, which is actually kind of fun because it's sort of a different shape. So you kind of have to make the emoji a little different. So what I'm doing now is um, we've got two brushes. You've got a bigger brush and a little brush. The big brush is for the yellow and that's to get the, um, you know, the main color on. And the little brush is what you're gonna use for the details um, in the other colors. And you have your, um, your paints in your little containers. I'm just gonna be using the tops of the paints um, that I um, have already you know, put aside because I don't wanna waste all that plastic. But um, anyway, and you have a sheet, a cheat sheet of different types of emojis that you can use um, as, a, as a reference point. But I've got, you'll have two stones and I've already worked on this one. I've got three coats of yellow paint on this one and you can see it's not all that consistent. There are a couple of ways you could do this. You can either just put it on smoothly or you can glob it on thick. The problem with globbing it on really thick is that it gives it a nice coat, but it alligators when it dries. And that means it gets these creases. I'm not sure if you can see it here, but it gets these sort of cracks in it versus if you just put it on in a couple of layers where it's not quite as consistent, but I think it's still kind of fun. So um, what you'll do is you take your paint and you make your, you decide how, how much of the, um, how much of the stone you want to cover, but you see how thin it goes on if you just put in one layer, but you want to try to make your edges kind of even they don't have to be a perfect circle, but they kind of have to be even. And sort of smooth it out a little bit and then you can let it dry. And then you do as many coats as you want to get it to the depth of color that you want to paint on. So as I said, this is three coats. I could probably do four if I wanted to, but um, I'm not going to because I need to do this video. That said, um, it dries pretty quickly. So you can do this, or you can just take big, big um, things and just glob it. But as I said, that doesn't dry. I don't like, I don't love the way that dries. Um, you know, and, and then you can even it up as you, as you do more layers. Okay, so now I'm going to clean my brush. Now, with these brushes, remember, you're going to need, especially this brush, since you guys signed up for both of the crafts, um, this brush will be very useful for you for the snowflakes to apply glue to the paper. So clean it out off really well. Actually with soap and water would be perfect and let it dry, but hold on, hold on to this brush. Okay. So now I'm going to chew, I'm going to do, um, what am I going to do? I guess I want to show you the best way to do the mouths on these, if you wanna put in teeth like that one has, or you wanna put on a tongue, you wanna to do the back mouth, the mouth first, okay? So you're gonna do this, use your black, and you can just start. You wanna be a little delicate with this because remember you wanna get your little point the edge of your mouth. There you go. And this might or might not go get even, but it helps to just do it in one movement as best you can. So there. He's going to have a very big mouth. There we go. You can use the corner of your brush to get the little points in there. It's a little uneven, but not too bad. So there he goes. 
And now, I got a little extra hair on that brush, which is irritating me, but, so now I'm gonna put on the, uh, other little eyeballs, hold on. And again, you can just grab a piece of paper and play around with your brush to get it to the, the shape you want. Because I don't know what kind of brush you're gonna have, Mine has got this little hair on it that's driving me nuts. There we go. Cut that off. Um, you want to do it very thin for the eyes. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is, i got to really rinse this brush out. I'm going to do the eye like this one. And what you need to do on that is you need to... Put the white on first and let it dry. It doesn't take very long for it to dry, but you gotta let it dry before you put the little black dot in the middle. So now I'm gonna take my white and I'm going to make my dot there. And you can mix and match these. That went on very thick, so that's gonna take a little while to dry. You can see that the um, the mouth is almost dry, but if I want to put in my teeth, I've got to wait for that to dry, and then I put in the teeth, but leave. You see how there's a border? So you, whoops, you want to leave that border to show the um, that it's a mouth with teeth. If you don't leave the border, it looks weird. I found that out also the hard way. So if I put the white on right now, it's going to... Um, turn into gray because it's still wet. Um, the same will be true with putting on the red if you did if you decided to do the tongue here. Um, so you just want to make sure things are dry. This one you could just do the whole thing at one time because it's all separate bits. Um, if you want to make the black eye glisten a little bit, you can always put a little teeny white dot in it. That's what I'll do right now. I'll show you. Put a little white dot in it, and that kind of makes it shine a little bit, kind of like the anime figurines. So um, let's see if I can get the teeth on yet. I really can't. I, you can see, I'm not sure if this will show up, but you can see the wet bits. So you just want to wait until all of those shiny bits are dull, and then you can do the layering of the colors. So have fun, but remember to save your brush for the snowflake project and wash your brushes out really carefully with soap once you're done. Um, and if you want to try finding some nice smooth rocks and do the same thing. Now on all of these, I put a layer of Mod Podge. You could do a layer of um, glue or nail polish on top if you want them to be shiny. That's up to you, but you don't have to do it that way. Okay, so enjoy, and I'd love to see some of your creations if you want to post them. Thanks. Bye.